Hey friends, it's Tracy. Today I am sharing the start to finish of my Welcome Spring door hanger. Now, uh, the other day I was uh, participating in a fundraiser for a sweet friend and uh, I did a Facebook Live and I shared kind of you know, how I start my door hangers, what I do, how I paint them, that kind of thing. And I promised you guys that I would have a video of sharing how I do it from start to finish. So guys, let's go ahead and get started and let me share how I created this Welcome Spring farmhouse door hanger. I'm starting with a 15 inch wood brown. Now these are from burrowwood.com. And I just take my sanding block and uh, sand off any of the like edges that need a little sanding. Then I just take a baby wipe and go around and get off any of those dust particles. Uh, to paint the uh, board, I'm just using chalk paint in the color plaster. Give it a good coat of that. And then uh, for the faux plaid pattern, what I use is my fan brush and some granite gray paint. And I just start in the middle and I just take, you know, just a few bristles of that fan brush and I just make, go down, make stripes. Then I go across and make the other stripes. I'm using a three quarter inch flat paint brush and some black paint to make my stripes. Now I get questions about this. I've been eyeballing it or actually been doing this for a long time that I can eyeball it. And uh, if one chooses to measure it, I would just measure in about mm, three quarters of an inch going all the way around. And uh, then I'll take a smaller flat paint brush just to go around the edges just to finish it off and make it look really nice. I like to add a little bit of brown paint to add some shading and to give my painted project some definition. And how I do this is by using a flat paintbrush and some milk chocolate paint. Uh, I also have some clean water. I dip half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water. I blend on a paper towel and then I just go, um, you know, just kind of on the underside of that faux plaid uh, pattern and just kind of give it a little bit of the brown color. Now, as you can see, it's not perfect and I don't want it to be because uh, my painted projects are not perfect, but I like them that way. They're just, you know, it just really adds to the beauty of your hand painted projects. Once my paint was completely dry, I take my ultra fine Sharpie marker and then go and just kind of doodle around just to giving it, give it some enhancement. Then uh, once I finish that, then I go in each of the stripes and add some white highlight just to give it more interest. To design my shape in Design Space, I am here in Design Space and I pulled in a shape a circle. I went up to the top and resized it to 15 inches. Then I went up to the top and just made it an outline just to uh, just have the outline. I didn't need the actual shape to cut out. Okay, so then I go in and pull in my uh, welcome spring. And so then I kind of resize it to the point where, you know, it kind of fits nicely on my board. Then I go up to the top and I just change it to both colors be the same so that I will have, you know, I can cut it out of my stencil vinyl just with one color. 
so that way it would cut out all at one time. And then I put, uh, I make sure the box is around it. I go down to the bottom and click attach so that it all cuts out in one piece. So then now I'm going to take my weeding tool and start weeding the actual inside of the letters because since this is a stencil, I just want the middle of the letters to come out. And so I quickly do that here just by using my weeding tool and just removing that inner part of the letters and you know just exposing the welcome spring as well as the greenery because that is what I'm going to be putting on my door hanger to paint on and that is going to be the words and it's going to look really cute. I'm using my transfer tape to uh, put some on there and then I use my little Cricut spatula just to smooth everything down kind of burnish it so that everything the uh, stencil vinyl sticks to my transfer tape so that I can then transfer it onto my uh, door hanger sign so that I can start stenciling. I trim off a bit of the stencil, the extra stencil, as well as that uh, transfer tape. I got a little of the overhang because I don't want it to stick on, on my paint on my uh, door sign because then sometimes I found that it kind of pulls up my paint and I don't like that. So then uh, I just, you know, make sure that everything is transferred uh, onto my transfer tape and uh, I just keep going back and forth. I kind of, what helps me is I kind of pull at an angle and that helps me get things off a little bit easier. So then to center it, I just, uh, you know, kind of lay it down and maybe go from the middle and then I smooth outward using my Cricut spatula just to help. I make sure that there's no air bubbles or that none of my stencil vinyl is sticking up. And so then what I'll do is just uh, carefully take off my transfer tape. And then uh, what I like to do to get... It just helps me. I picked up this tip from, a, you know, a fellow uh, Cricut person. I just add a thin layer of Mod Podge on to my Cricut sp uh, stencil first so that it, you know, it kind of like seals it where I don't get a lot of bleeding. And so then also I give thin coats of paint. I usually use like three coats and what I'm uh, putting them on with is just a makeup sponge and uh, just kind of dabbing that on and that just helps a little bit. And so I do black for the welcome and then I do moss green uh, which is Waverly chalk paint for the green and the green leaves. And then just, you know, once it's dry, I'll just take off the stencil. I use my uh, little uh, scissors just to cut off some of the tape just to get it off a little bit easier. And for the middles, I just use my weeding tool just to help take off out, or take out all of those little middles. And so then uh, I'm just using my flat paintbrush and just adding some highlights to the uh, welcome spring. I'll go back with my detailing brush just to add some white highlights. I just really feel that it really brings out the um, just the letters and all of that stuff and just really makes your paint it project just really pop and just really make it look really nice. For the uh, pink, I'm using fuchsia and the end of a paintbrush and I just dip uh, it into the pink paint and just give dots all the way around just to, you know, give it some pink color for my spring sign. Then I'll use another flat paintbrush just to go around and give that another moss green border. Uh, I just really feel that it just kind of really highlights and just adds so much to the painted project. 
I like to uh, add a bit of brown shading to my letters. I do that with my flat paintbrush and my uh, way of doing it is by, you know, dipping half of my brush in paint, the other half in clean water, blending on a paper towel, just going around the letters just to bring them out and give them a little bit of definition. I'll do the same thing with the green moss border. Then uh, also I take my uh, flat paintbrush and some white paint and just give it a swoosh around the painted door hanger kind of brings out I don't know it just really I really like that effect then I take my ultra fine sharpie marker around the spring and it just uh, kind of bring that out a little bit and then I uh, just add some black and white paint splatters to my door hanger just to make it pop once everything is completely dry then I give it a coat of this varnish sealer uh, just to make sure that it's protected for my greenery swag at the top, I'm using uh, some ranunculus flowers as well as some greenery that I had in my stash. And so uh, I just, this right here is a sprig. I just kind of, you know, pull it apart where it kind of is in the middle. And then I just have some little eucalyptus. And like I said, those ranunculus flowers, I love those. Those beautiful flowers came from Walmart and the greenery came from Hobby Lobby. And so then uh, I was going to add some wire to it, but I decided to uh, just use some uh, zip ties. Uh, so I pulled a couple of zip ties out and then that's what I did just to gather all this together. I put two zip ties on there. Then to once I cut like the excess off, then I just use my floral tape uh, just to, you know, kind of mask those uh, white zip ties and then I'm going to start on my bow and so this one and a half uh, ribbon is from Hobby Lobby from the Christmas season and so I have uh, this is my favorite way to make a bow I am using my easy bow maker and I measure out about mm, I don't know about a five inch tail and then I uh, those two dowels are kind of like they pose as fingers and so then I twist uh, in the middle then I make my loop about a three inch loop and then I twist it so that the right side of the ribbon is on top and then I on the other side I make three inch loop as well and then I make six loops three on each side and I go down a quarter of an inch on each one so that it kind of staggers and looks really nice <music> tie it off in the middle I'm just using a pipe cleaner and twist it around and then that is what I will twist onto the middle of my uh, greenery garland to attach to my door sign to attach my swag uh, I am just uh, I use my stapler and uh, I'm just putting a picture here uh, you know one that I found on Amazon and then I added a little bit of Excelsior just to add a bit of whimsy and also mask that tape and for the hanger I just drilled two holes at the top and then just threaded on a uh, just a wire hanger for my door hanger <music> Oh, 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 oh,